Well, hello there, guys. Welcome to another video. So in this video, I just wanted to give a quick overview of how to scan documents in the Notes app on iOS 13. Now, just to show you that this is iOS 13, you'll notice that the, ba the background is one of the new backgrounds, and it is in dark mode. And I will show you the uh, about here, and you can see we are on iOS 13. Specifically, this is beta 5, so this should be pretty close to how it will look when it is released in September. Uh, now in order to uh, scan a document, you're going to go into your notes app here. And one thing to note, if you do have uh, email addresses added and you have the notes selected in those email addresses, then uh, you'll need to use the iCloud notes specifically because this will not work in notes that are say synced with Gmail. So um, if you do have multiple accounts, you will go to the very first screen and you'll see uh, the iCloud will show up as one and you'll have any other email address that you may be using that you have notes selected as well. So you'll be, you'll be using the iCloud notes specifically. So we'll go in here and as you can see we have a blank note. So all we need to do is uh, all we need to do is just hit the bottom right here you'll see the new note and then you have a couple options down here uh, right near your keyboard. So uh, the one we're going to be clicking is the camera icon. From here you have a couple of options. You can scan a document, take a photo or a video, or use your photo library to insert a photo or a video. Now each of these three things will insert whatever you're trying to insert into the note. But in this case, we're going to scan a document to put it in our note. So we're going to hit scan documents. And for example, I'm using just a small brochure that I had from when I got my yard serviced. And as you can see, it automatically does it for you. So we're going to go ahead and go back into it here. And we can see it did a really good job. But uh, say I did it sideways. You have at the bottom here a couple of controls. So if I wanted to uh, change the orientation, you click the third button here with a little arrow, and that changes its orientation. So in this case, it was correct, so we're going to keep it as it is. Uh, the button on the, the very first button on the right, or on the uh, bottom here, is to crop. So in this case, it takes you back to that photo view, and as you can see, it did a really good job of figuring out where the edges are, so in this case, I will leave it as it is. But if you did uh, if it did automatically take it and it didn't do a very good job of figuring out where the edges are, you can just take one of these corners and drag it. And as you can see, it magnifies it so you can see and you can get a more precise edge. So I didn't do a great job there, um, but you can get very precise with it, which is nice. And once you've completed that and you're satisfied with where it is, you can hit done. All right, so in this case, it looks really nice. Now the second button with the three circles is your colors and the different uh, types of scales you can look at the photo with. So in this case, you'll see that this is in color. You can go to grayscale here, black and white, or photo. So. I'll just go through these again so you can see the differences here. Let me zoom in a bit so you can see. Now this was handwritten on, so it was handwritten with black ink. So the photo or the color looks really nice. And it's sharp enough, you can see everything you need to see. If you want to go grayscale, you don't see any real change because they did use black ink, so you wouldn't notice anything. But if they use different ink or if it was in color, then this would make it in black and white. So this might be good if you wanted to print it. Now black and white will really darken things so it may make it harder to read so I would not use this option very often but that is that is totally up to you and the last option is photo and that is exactly how it looks when you took that picture or when the camera took the picture of the item so in this case I will keep color I think that looks good and we're gonna go ahead and keep it now if you did want to get rid of it you can either hit the retake button at the top right or the trash can icon which would get rid of it so in this case, I'm happy with it, so I'll go ahead and hit done. And once you're done, it goes back to that camera view. Now, since we already looked at it, 
we're going to go ahead and hit the save icon. So now it is saved. So now if you want to send it, you can just hold down on it and you'll see a couple of options pop up here. So we can either copy it, share it, rename it, or uh, small images, which I'm not sure of, but let's see what this does. Okay, so rather than taking up a big portion of the screen, like it just did, or a big portion of the notes, if you're adding multiple pictures or multiple documents, that's really helpful. So then you can scroll through easily and you have more room for different documents and options. So let's go ahead and do the share sheet here. So as you can see, when you click it, it pops open. You can see the full document there. And let's go ahead and share it. And we get the new iOS 13 share sheet here. So in this case, you have AirDrop as an option, Mail as an option, iBooks as an option. And you can hit more here. And you should be able to add more. So you can edit this and add more things to it if you wanted to. Uh, in this case, oh, you also can do here, you can copy from here. You can mark it up, print it, save to files, or edit actions and add more actions to that. So what we can do, oh, another thing that I found very interesting is uh, if you look at the top here, the name of the document, it actually read today's service on the top of the document that I scanned. So that's really interesting. So that means it can read words on a document, which I, I didn't know that it did. So that's really nice. So let's say we want to mark this up. So we can go in here and you've got a good couple options here. And as you can see, I just messed that up. So uh, let's see, we can hit that undo button there. <laughs> um, so yeah, right now, if you look at the top, you'll see the done, the name of the document, undo, redo, and your pen. So I can just draw on this or whatever I want to do. And then we'll just hit undo. So what I really wanted to do was zoom in on it, but uh, it doesn't seem I can do that. So if you hear, if you see here, you have another, you have your pens, you have a highlighter here, which is nice. You could go in and highlight things if you really wanted to. You have an eraser, so you can erase different things. Uh, you have a very thin pen, which is nice. Uh, and you can also change the colors of these. So you have a huge color wheel here of different colors you can choose. So you want to go by this with a red pen and give them a good circle and let them know, hey, you need to do this. Uh, that actually looks kind of like a crayon. I'm not sure that's much of a pen. But that's pretty nice. Let's see what... Uh, and then we have a ruler here if you need. So if you wanted to make a... If you wanted to make another, you know, straight line here, and just go against the... Just like that. And I have another, another line. So you can add things to the document, which is really nice. And then when you're done, just hit done. And you can save it or delete it. So to say save file to, and you can just save it on your phone. You can save it on your phone or your iCloud drive if you are signed in. Unfortunately, I'm not signed in on this. So you won't be able to see, um, see how that works, unfortunately. So there you go. And now if we go into it, you won't see any changes, I believe, because it saved it as a separate document. So let's go ahead and do another one just to see how this looks when you add multiple documents. All right. So let's go ahead and scan. And let's scan another document here. And as you can see, that yellow portion that shows up, it's automatically detecting it for you. OK. And then let's go in here and look. we can see it looks really good and we'll just leave it as it is again we'll hit done and then we'll hit the save icon and as you can see this is how it looks when you have multiple documents in the same note if it's in that small view and as you can see it just renamed it because it detected the name at the top of the document now if we want to show it in the traditional view large images now it'll show it and you can see it fully so you have those two options, which is nice. So small images, which shows just blocks, and a small preview. And then large images will show it in its full glory, and you can see the majority of the image. So that's pretty nice. All right, 
Um, and uh, you can also, as I said, you can also add pictures in here. So if you wanted to add a picture, you hit that camera icon again and your photo library. And then we can just insert a picture. Oh, hit, uh, you have to select it. And you can see it kind of is hard to tell if it's selected unless you could see. You can see it's not grayed out as much as you'd think here. But there you go. Now you have an image in there. Now, again, this should show up large once I hit large images. And there you go. So those views are nice. That is a nice addition. So if we click on the image, we now have an option to actually mark it up. So we can highlight things here. And then we can circle things if we want to. You have your pencil, to, your pencil also. So that's really nice. And there you go. Now, if you don't want to keep any of these, just hit the trash. And there you go. Say you made a mistake and you wanted to go back and get the document that you just deleted, say with an accident, go into the recently deleted, and just like in your photos, it's now available 30 days after you delete it, and you can get it back. And that's just a quick overview of the document scanning in the Notes app on iOS 13. Thanks so much for watching. And one more thing, if you would like to create a shortcut to your Notes app so you can take a scan easily, what you can do is add the Notes, uh, there's a Notes app shortcut that you can add to your control center. So in order to do that, you just go to your settings, scroll down until you get to the control center, hit control center, hit customize controls, scroll down to more controls, and you'll see there is a notes app button. Hit the plus, and then it adds it into your list of different items that you can use in your control center. To access the new control center with that addition, on an older phone, you just scroll up, and on one of the newer phones, you'll just pull down from the right. Now, as you can see, we have the Notes app button here, and all you do is hit that, and bam, you have easy access to your Notes app right from the control center. So hopefully that's another little helpful thing. Thanks for watching.